warm welcome to you all from Buenos Aires to a venue which hardly requires an introduction. It is, of course, the world-famous Bombanera. And here we have Boca Juniors against River Plate. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Begley. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now, and I'm eager for the action to start. Depth of passion, depth of history, depth of rivalry. What an occasion it is when Boca Juniors and River Plate meet. Boca Juniors line up in a 4-4-2. It's the bedrock as formations go, and for such a long time, it, it places the emphasis on partnerships and combinations. Jada. So what now? Jada. Going through. Is it in? Was urged to shoot and he duly delivered. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking and the finish was made a lot easier. In the Argentine capital, Buenos Aires, we are at the El Monumental, the home of River Plate. And our live game is River Plate against Boca Juniors. I'm Peter Drury, and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Begley. Hi, Peter. It's great to be here. Depth of passion, depth of history, depth of rivalry. What an occasion it is when Boca Juniors and River Plate meet. River Plate are in a 4-4-2 formation. It's a well-employed system that demands certainty from the white men. They have to forage and work back. The action has already started. Steered out wide. And the shot! Oh, short and the follow-up! River Plate have been the more adventurous for me and productive, and now they have to add that clinical bit. And it's boot. Now the pass. A buccaneering run from the defender. Can he get... Goes for goal! We've got a goal! First blood drawn! about that Jim Beglin well I think the keeper has every reason to rip into that defense who's ball who's gonna get that 
And he's, he's had a shot! Laura. Tried to play it through. 